Hello, it's your friend Phil, Project Management Trainer and Coach here. Thank you so much for joining the live streams. Those of you in the EMEA region, we have these study groups that we've started having on Saturday morning. If you are in Europe, Middle East, Asia, Pacific, join us on those Saturdays. Now, you want to subscribe to the channel so that the moment we get online, you'll get a notification telling you to join the live stream. Today, I've got 15 great flashcards for you to help you prepare for the PMP or CAPM exam. These revolve around outputs. Now, when I train this course, PMP exam prep camp for Prazion, I like dunking people straight in to what they get from each one of those 47 processes. You see, the exam is so situational that without you knowing what you get from each process, it could be very hard for you to even know where to start from with the questions. So the first thing that you should do when you get a bunch of questions is ask yourself, what exactly am I creating here? What am I getting from what I'm doing? And if you can decipher what's in it for you, what you're truly getting from each process, that's half of the battle. Because if you know what you're getting out, you can decipher what you're using by virtue of the tool or technique. So the purpose of these free flashcards is to get you to know what comes from each process. Okay, so how does it work? Here's a card. You can actually print these out and then you can cut them up and make them into a slide deck for yourself or a card deck for yourself and play with them. I'll show you how you can get the full 64 card deck for all of the outputs. Because you know, outputs are really recurring. They're not as many as 200 outputs, even as many as 100, but they look so many, don't they? They really do. So let's take a look. Accepted deliverables is an output of which process? That's the question you ask yourself. So you're looking at the flashcard, you ask yourself, what's the output? Can you guess? Do you remember? If you don't print them out and you keep them in PDF, you just swipe, swipe to the left, and it will show you, or should I say to the right, and it will show you that it is validate scope. That's the process. Accepted deliverables is an output of validate scope. Here's another one for you. Activity attributes. Activity attributes is an output of, of what? Define activities. Let's go to another one. Activity duration estimates is an output of, you see, by the time you go through a ton of these, you'll very, very rapidly be able to identify what is going on in each process. And it's so important. It's so important. For those questions on the exam, you absolutely need to know what you're getting. The low hanging fruit from each process, or maybe the high hanging fruit. Maybe it's not as low hanging. You know, things like the scope baseline on large projects, that's not low hanging fruit. On a small project, perhaps a project charter could be very easy. But the bottom line is you need to know what you are getting from each one of the 47 processes. Here's one more. Not that one. BOEs. And speaking of BOEs, I hate to tell you this, but a lot of processes that give you stuff in the fifth edition is changing on the sixth. So those of you thinking, oh, I'll just make a conversion, it's going to be a relearning process. Why am I saying that? Because BOEs shows up in more than one place in the sixth edition. In the fifth edition, you only get them as an output of... Can you answer that? Where do BOEs come from as an output in the fifth edition? The answer has to do with cost. Estimate costs. 
All right, so like I said, I have got these flashcards out there on the web for you. Where are you going to get them from? You need to go to this link, tinyurl.com forward slash PMP Bowls, because you are the boss. You're going to be the boss. You're going to, you're going to show the exam that you are the boss. You're going to show the exam what you're made of, right? So I like making my URLs a positive note because you need it. If you're like me, getting into an exam like that, even though you know you can bring it, but still the exam kind of tries you, doesn't it? you got to be on your A game, know you're the boss. All right, enough said. So go to PMP Boss, and when you get there, Download this deck, 15 cards, print them out. I'll show you how that looks. So print them out and cut them in the middle, down like that, all right? So when you go to PMP Boss, the tinyurl.com forward slash PMP Boss, it's going to take you to this page, and this is where you want to download those cards, where it says PMP exam flashcards free. Let's click on that, or right-click and download, or open link in new window, depending on what your machine allows you to do, and just download that free deck, cut them up, and begin to play with them. And if you find these to be useful, you can always get the full version. Now this full version, this full deck here, is 64 in there, but if you go there, just grab, you know, those cards, and off you go to practice. All right, I hope you find these helpful. You can even make yours. You know, some of my students, they make manual flashcards. Jason was sharing with us on the live stream yesterday, or the day before, how he made flashcards. And he's got like a whole container of flashcards he made. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can study the outputs. Little word of advice. The same thing is going to be done for the tools and techniques those unique ones and the outputs. Now in this deck, I don't have things like WPI or WPR. No, I don't have WPI because it comes from so many places. Work project management plan updates, all those ones that come from a ton of places. No, that's not my focus. My focus is on those unique outputs, you know, because those are so important. Okay. I hope that gives you some ideas of how to study, and I wish you all the best on the exam. Don't forget, we've started some fun live streams. We've got the Hustle for Your PMP Muscle series on Thursdays. We've got PM Dinner Jazz on Fridays. We've got the, um, what do we call it now, on Saturdays, the uh, Study, Savage Saturday Study Group, and... We have the Motivational Mondays. So we're trying to get you that knowledge ammo one way or another, you know, to motivate you, to encourage you, to get you to the point. But the key thing is subscribe because it will show you or tell you by email when those live streams are happening. All right. Thank you very much and bye for now.